Hey, what's up guys? It's Tex. I'm um, just going to make a very short video tutorial uh, showing you how you can create a watch list here in eSignal. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty basic, obviously, creating a watch list. Uh, most people should be able to figure it out. But what I did with mine is I actually categorized stocks into um, kind of like their respective categories. And, you know, these are all stocks that I either watch, have traded in the past, or might trade, just stocks that I, you know, I kind of like. And it is kind of cool with eSignal because you can categorize them into these uh, like drop down uh, menus, kind of if you will. And the way I did it is the top one is just my daily watch, and this is where I put you know the top stocks that I'm watching for the current day. And then below that, I have all of my uh, kind of disc discretionary categories here. You know, I have like Fang stocks uh, through Nvidia in there, and then I have tech stocks. Uh, then I have pot stocks consumer, manufacturing, healthcare, and I don't trade these as much anymore, but I do still watch them sometimes. You've got your commodity ETFs and the market ETFs. So um, what you want to do is uh, if you're going to create a category, whenever you have your watch list, you can come up here, go to new and watch list like that uh, to create a new watch list. And once you create a new watch list, it's going to open up your watch list window. You can actually uh, add columns or remove columns here. You can go to uh, remove this column here if you want to, or go to add columns here, and you can search for whatever columns you want to see. Uh, by default, the watch list is going to have a whole bunch of stuff in there, like the bid, the ask, a whole bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily want to see. I just like to see the last price, the open price, the change and the volume. Of course, you could have change percentage, I think, but uh, I prefer to see the actual dollar change. So these are what I like to see, just uh, the essentials in my watch list. So once you get your column set up and you start throwing stocks into your watch list, the way you're going to create a category is you're going to use the hashtag sign. And it's very important that when you do create a category, so for example, if uh, here is my last category in the list, if I wanted to create a new one down here, you have to skip a space between the last stock in this category. So skipping that space, come to this one, you use the hashtag sign, and I'm just going to call it new because I'm not creative enough to come up with something. Hit enter, and now you have a new category, and you can start throwing stocks in there. Um, I don't know, just random, you know, throw a stock in. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of stocks in our new category. And if you want to move this category with all of the stocks in it, you have to first collapse it, and then you can move it anywhere you want in your watch list. Let's say I wanted to reorganize these and put market ETFs down below that. So I put skip a space, put market ETFs there, and now when I expand my category, you can see all of the stocks are still there. They all moved with that category. So just be sure you um, collapse your category before you move it around. And then you can come in here and you can actually, well, I don't want that stock in there. You can just delete row. Or if you are you wanted to add stocks to this one, you could come in here and simply insert row. So you make sure you keep that empty space between the categories. And you can keep doing that as, as much as you want to, to add more stocks to that category. Or, of course, you can just delete rows like that. So keeping a space there, uh, I will just delete this row. And that deletes the category but the stock remains, delete that, and there you go. So that is very basic tutorial how you can create a watch list and organize your watch list into these uh, very nice categories, which uh, is a feature that I definitely like with uh, eSignal. Just wanted to share that with you. Hope, uh, hopefully you did find it useful, and I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So uh, thanks as always for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.